Well, my project was Weehabilitation, and my hypothesis was uh, the Wii can be used in rehabilitation of shoulder problems such as frozen shoulder. So now, your name is? My name is Stephen Bannister. What grade? I, uh, seventh grade. What school? Uh, Logan Middle School. And so, Stephen, tell me what was it that you concluded after all your testing? I concluded that yes, the Wii Bowling game creates enough shoulder movement that it can be used in rehabilitation of frozen shoulder. So what did you learn from that? Um, I learned that uh, people who have injuries such as this one or related to this one, they can use the Nintendo Wii to uh, rehabilitate. So now, have you sent this to the manufacturer and said this is a good uh, method for using your game? Uh, no, but uh, I, I know a guy who's a physical therapist and he's going to uh, take it to uh, where he works and uh, he's going to he's gonna present it to them to see if they can get one. Your name is? Stephen Bannister. And you're great. Seventh. And what's Logan Middle School. How much more moisture is, absor is absorbed when the glass is placed in a closed container with different amounts of silica gel. And um, making this the second year of being at the Charles Deere Science Fair, it's really fun and um, I enjoyed it and I'll come back next year to do it all again. Hopefully I'll do better than both years. Seventh grade and I go to the campus school of Carlo University. My project was how does video games affect you and my name is Leslie Hoy and my hypothesis was that the video games, the violent video games would affect you more and it was correct. So what did you learn? I learned that you shouldn't play so many violent video games, therefore you should play um, good violent, good video games for you. So now if I send this to the gaming industry, what would you recommend to them? That they make less violent video games? Yes. And why would you recommend that? I would recommend that because people play violent video games and they think that it's okay that you should do what people do in the games and that they think violence is the answer and that you should always be violent but that's not true. Your name is? Leslie Hoy. In your grade? 7th grade. And what school? St. James School. My project is the War of Ancient Parabolas. And my topic question was that will, will there is there a relationship between the counterweight and the number and the f distance of the projectiles thrown? And I'm Trag Manohar, and I'm in the eighth grade at Colfax ALA. So, tell me what kind of experiments did you go through? Well, I built a trebuchet, which is like a catapult, but it, instead of using a spring load, it uses a counterweight. And I use different weights, like counterweight, to see how far the projectile would be thrown. And what was your conclusion? My conclusion was that the heavier the counterweight was, the farther the projectile would be thrown. So now what would you learn? Um, I learned that if I ever want to throw rocks at my neighbor's house, that I should put heavier counterweights on to make the projectile go farther. So now, how many years have you participated in Charles Bruce? Um, this is my second year. This is your second year. Uh -huh. So, what would you recommend to other high school age students like yourself? What would I recommend for projects? Right. No, what would you recommend about participation? Um, I definitely recommend participating because it's lots of fun. You learn about science, and you know, if you if you win, it's a great experience for everyone. Your name? My name's Trag Manohar. Colfax ALA. Your Eighth. <laughs> Future uh, electromagnets 
future energy source. My hypothesis was that by increasing the strengths of the magnets on an electric generator, the current produced will increase. My name is Amanda Schwarz. I'm in eighth grade and I go to South Hills Middle School. I um, used, the, I made the stand with a copper disc and I would switch the different magnets which were Alnico Horseshoe, Ceramic and Rare Neodyneum Earth Magnet which was the strongest. And by changing the strengths and trying to turn the crank at the same time, I measured on the digital multimeter how much of the current was produced. My conclusion was that the stronger the magnet, the more electricity was produced. So now, energy being in the news all the time, what would you recommend? Would you recommend that we start going to solar power? Or should we go to wind power? Solar, wind, and hydropower would be your best uh, choices. Uh, for an electric generator, for making uh, another energy source from electromagnets, it wouldn't be good because you can't get energy from nothing because of the uh, law of conservation of energy. Uh, but hydro plants use this type of generator, only a different model, and they have their wa the water use is the power source for it. So now, what did you learn? I learned, like I said, I learned that you cannot get energy from nothing because of the law of conservation of energy, and I definitely learned that you can't uh, make electric ma ele electric magnets as another future energy source. My name is Amanda Shores, I'm in 8th grade and I go to South Hills Middle School.